be real. There's nothing quite like starting your day with Starbucks coffee. I work at Starbucks and they give us a pound free a week. So I home on my days off, I brew it in the French press and I love it in my routine. I love Starbucks. I love their coffee. And I'm glad I worked there because I've worked with so many amazing partners over my four and a half years in Chicago, in Round Rock, and now some really cool partners in Austin too. And yeah, it's a pretty cool place to work. They give you um, medical insurance and you don't have to work that many hours to qualify for it. And it's a very good deal. I pay $54, they pay 200 or 300 something a month. And then also there's a SCAP college program where you get to partner and go to Arizona State University and you can only take one class at a time if that's your comfort level, which is awesome. So I love it. I'm getting a business law degree and yeah, and I get to do it through work and I get to have fun doing my passion, which is making coffee, making drinks, and talking with people and having fun with my coworkers at work and having fun with the guests. Um, yeah, it's a great place, but I hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing. I'm gonna be sipping on my Starbucks coffee that I love so much. And I just wanted to show y'all, Animal, I think Animal, if you're familiar with the Muppets, he was my spirit animal when I was healing. I was running around and in my brain I was calm, but I was running and moving and going too fast. And I think I used to freak people out because they didn't know what healing looked like. But I still did my job. I just moved real quick and had more of a sense of urgency, like 300% more than most other people um, to get everything done when I was the leader. And we knocked out a lot of nights with only three of us where we got a lot done. So. I'm pretty proud of myself to get through my healing, get through my grieving, and still hold full-time work. Even if other people questioned me, even if other people doubted me, even if other people lied behind my back. I mean, I've been grieving over 20 years. I've worked 24 years and I've worked on over 35 teams. So of course, sometimes your team might not understand you, but that's okay. Be who you are and be proud of it. I'm proud of who I was when I'm healing, and I'm proud of who I am now that I've healed. I'm proud of who I'm becoming because I'm evolving and getting better every day, just like you are, or just like everyone can. I went into self-improvement, especially with recovery in 27. I don't know if you're familiar with the 12 steps, but it's all about character defects and you choose your higher power. Mine is God and Jesus Christ, obviously, but everyone gets to choose that. But even if you work on yourself and you just reflect, you can grow, you can change, you can do whatever your dreams were. You just have to put action forward, physical action towards your dream and keep thinking about it. I've been thinking about my YouTube channel for over 20 years about how videos could inspire people. And now I have enough work experience and life experience to share my knowledge. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. And I love you so much, but God loves you more and enjoy this beautiful day. I'm happy it's cloudy and cold and not a hundred degrees in central Texas.